now. Hey everybody, it's Lucas Sharp here, uh, back again with another little video. I know it's rare that I do one of these types of things, you know, put my headset on, you know, talk in front of a computer camera, and I usually just talk in front of my phone, but I figured today would be a perfect time to do a reaction video. Uh, a, a reaction video to Carolina Jackpot. If you don't know who Carolina Jackpot is, this is a South Carolina fan who... Mostly just rambles on about how much South Carolina sucks, and he also does like food reviews and drink reviews for some reason. And then he scrap, and the reason he he's like called Jackpot is because well he scratches lottery tickets sometimes, where he don't really win a lot of money, uh, because some sometimes I actually do watch his uh, scratch off videos. He actually gets some good views like off of those videos. He usually gets like two hundred thousand views on those videos. Those are basically the reason why his channel is still up. Uh, but yeah, he's also a South Carolina fan, so he talks about South Carolina, and he mostly just talks about Tennessee for some weird reason. He hates Tennessee so much. And uh, if you, in case you don't know, Tennessee, of course, had a court case the other day where we had to take on the NCAA because the NCAA, of course, tried to... Uh, you know, screw Tennessee over because, well, they because of a rule that didn't even exist at the time because Tennessee was flying Nico Iamaliava on a private jet, even though, and of course, something like that was apparently illegal, according to the NCAA, but they didn't make a rule established during that time when Tennessee did it. So Tennessee fought back, and of course, uh, they won the court case. Tennessee won the court case. The NCAA now... Uh, cannot do anything anymore about NIL. Uh, any college is allowed to do whatever they want. So it's basically, you know, uh, deuces for the NCAA. And there's some people, of course, who are happy about it. Some people mad about it for some reason. Acting like Tennessee ruined college football. No, NCAA ruined itself. The NCAA ruined itself. Uh. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's just go ahead and get into this reaction video. Uh, make sure you go, you go give a give a like and subscribe. And um, I'll go ahead and like post the original uh, link for this video in the description, and so you can go and watch that original video before you watch this one. Uh, so yeah, man. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get into this. Let me just do that. There we go. What up, gang? Lane Carolina Jackpot time coming at ya. It is Saturday morning. So last night, um, I was you know, actually working for a living, and everybody on the Twitter box. So you tell me you're lazy, Jackpot? Uh, <laughs> or I guess people call him lazy. I don't know. People apparently call him like fat and lazy, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I don't really watch Carolina Jackpot that much. I just watch him sometimes because it's nice to see him like rage when Tennessee's freaking kicking in South Carolina's butt and anything. Uh, I don't know. The dude gets stupid drunk, and it's absolutely hilarious how he rages because he gets so drunk. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's just get back into this. Starts uh, pulling up their bookmarks and tagging. Your boy Carolina Jackpot and stuff. Probably about, I don't want to say it's about 7 o'clock. I looked at my phone and I got a bunch of notifications on there. Tennessee uh, and or Virginia, the state of, got, a, uh, got an injunction from the court so that uh, now the NCAA, I guess, apparently has... No control over NIL for student athletes in those states, I guess, right now. But there, the, the Tennessee man is over here telling us that everybody should be happy about this because we uh, hit a home run for all of uh, all they, of college athletics. They sh they should they should uh, you no know, need to thank Tennessee by the way, uh, you know, for helping everybody. 
uh, be able to not have to deal with the NCAA's bull crap during NIL. But, of course, y'all want to act like, uh, of course, Tennessee's ruining the sport. Like, bro, we ain't ruining nothing. The NCAA is ruining it. Like, bro, they came after us when we literally did nothing. What do y'all not understand? Well, I guess you could say, oh, Tennessee did something. It wasn't a rule at the time. Like, literally, there was not a rule for that at the time. Like, the NCAA cannot just, like, make a rule after we did something and then uh, be like, oh, Tennessee did this. Oh, we need to go after them. Like, imagine this, all right? I know Josh Pate said this, like, earlier in one of his videos. Uh, by the way, I mean, I watch Josh Pate sometimes. But he put it perfectly, I think. He said, uh, picture this. Uh, you're part of a construction crew, and they give you specific blueprints for a house, and you gotta get it done in a certain amount of time. And then you already start construction on it. You already start construction on the house, and you're already basically halfway done, but then, uh, Then the head guy comes in and is like, oh man, we, uh, here are the new blueprints. You can just go ahead and get rid of the old ones. And then they're like, well, we're already halfway done with this one, so we might as well just go ahead and get it done. And so they finish the house, but then the head guy is like, yo, this is, what I, this is not what I asked for. Like, like, that's what's going on. Like, Tennessee basically already had... Nico Iamaliava already on the, on the, you know, already on the jet or whatever. But the NCAA, of course, uh, you know, doing what they do best and screwing Tennessee over. But, yeah, let's just go ahead and get back into this. How? I mean, is, is this rule just, is this just enforceable in Tennessee and Virginia? So I'm kind of confused on some of that. But what it all sounds like to me is this. Tennessee picture is that big fat baby that's three years old, still dressed in dirty baby clothes, sipping Mountain Dew out of a baby nipple, laying on the floor at Walmart in the checkout line, the self checkout line, because they refuse to hire cashiers anymore. The self checkout line throwing a fit because his mama wouldn't use the food stamps to buy two of them little packs of Tasty Cake chocolate donuts. Stamping his feet, crying until he gets his way. And she pulls the EBT card out with disgust and buys <laughs> what? the Tasty Cake donuts. What? For that crying Mountain Dew nipple sucking baby. That, that, that's all what this is. They cheated. They, when they flew Nico across country, Shut up, Jackpot. Bro, literally, if this happened to South Carolina, I know you'd be furious, bro. Literally, they came after us, like I said, for like the millionth time in this video, a rule wasn't established at the time. Like, how is that our fault? How is that our fault? And yes, you could say, oh, Tennessee, of course, cheated like a few years ago. Yes, we did. I'll admit, we cheated. We, of course, got caught. But we literally fired everybody who cheated. We fired Jeremy Pruitt. We fired basically everybody. And all the players, of course, who were basically, you know, involved in that cheating, of course, left. They all left. Like, literally, it's all gone. And now, of course, we do something. When a rule isn't even established, everybody's like, oh, Tennessee cheated. Tennessee cheated. We did not cheat. Like, bro, shut up. As a damn high schooler, they know at the time that that was wrong. Because there, sometimes there's a lots of things in life that there's gray areas. No, we didn't, Jackpot. You know on paper, whether it's right or whether it's wrong. But if you look at something and it smells fishy, if it doesn't look like something you probably ought to be doing... You probably ought not to be doing it. And that's the way I look at that 
whole scenario. And then, oh, well, then they go back and try to punish us. Yeah, they tried to punish you because you're known fucking cheaters. You're known cheaters. That's why you got punished on stuff, and some other ones did not. That, that's the bottom line. I, I am just so sick and tired of them and this silly fan base. I mean, it's got, it is the most annoying fan base on social media, period. And, and I... <laughs> oh man dude literally most south carolina fans don't even have a problem with us jackpot besides you literally most most of us south Car uh, most tennessee fans of south carolina fans are actually kind of cool with each other uh on twitter and stuff but you're the odd man out like you're the crazy one bro like literally there's what zanino make sure you go uh on Twitter, there's also Gamecock Dave, who's cool. Like, literally, there's so many cool South Carolina fans that, you know, are cool with Tennessee fans. Besides you! You want to know why? Because you're crazy! Like, dude, you're absolutely crazy! Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Just, I guess... Go back to sipping your beer or something. I don't know. Because uh, apparently all Tennessee fans are is a bunch of freaking uh, dirty babies sitting in the Walmart aisle. Uh, sipping on their bottle of Mountain Dew. Which, of course, that, that doesn't even make sense <laughs> at all. no idea really before social media existed how annoying this fan base was were y'all this annoying before uh like back in the early days of myspace back 2004 or whatever whenever that would have been were y'all this annoying back then or has it just been since the twitter virus was invented i don't really know uh but congratulations uh you won your little case you got an injunction i guess this is just going to change everything for the better now right so uh anybody can earn as much as they want to there will continue to be no rules nothing will be enforced ever and you got your way wonderful everybody have a great day we'll see you later <laughs> yeah bro's absolutely upset because you know he was he was all if you don't know he was like on twitter he was like oh uh, I'm going to run victory laps around Tennessee because they're about to lose this case. And then we come out and win. And he's and then he's coming out, of course, being like, oh, uh, uh, well, you guys, you guys cheated. Uh, you shouldn't have won this court case. Uh, it's a bunch of bull crap. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. All right, let's see. Let's see, uh, let's, let, let's see some of these comments. Somebody, of course, said, jackpot the rolling is for all, for all of college football, not just for Tennessee and Virginia. Yeah, that, that's what it is. It's for, it's for all of college football. It's not just for Tennessee and Virginia, because, of course, te Virginia was with, it was in on this as well. So, yeah, man, Tennessee and Virginia out here saving college football. You'll love to see it. Uh, if you ever want to see your beloved team win a title, they better come along or be left behind. We have no problem laughing directly at you. And then, of course, he bro, bro pulls 63 to 38 out of his pocket, even though that happened basically two years ago. Uh, congratulations, uh, sir. Beating Tennessee and Clemson in back-to-back -back weeks was the biggest accomplishment South Carolina football has ever done. Like, congratulations. And then, of course, Elijah Allen, of course, uh, Says on paper, Tessie didn't fly Nico out. Spire did because at the time Nico was an employee of Spire. Yeah, yeah. Literally, our NIL uh, group, Spire, has fl literally flown him out. Not the University of Tennessee. 
Sounds like a gr lot of gray area BS that Tennessee was able to get away with. I mean, all legal crap like that is a bunch of gray area BS. Man, you think USC collective boosters aren't doing the same thing? I don't know, man. Man, ah, man. Cody Branch coming out. He made Carolina jackpot mad with this comment. Dude, do you think Tennessee fans are annoying? SC fans are 10 times worse. At least Tennessee has won the SEC multiple national championships in a sport that matters. Has SC done that? No. Uh... And then, of course, he goes out to freaking roast him in the Carolina Jackpot as he get mad at it. Somebody called him Uncle Jackpot. <sighs> oh, man. That's funny. That is funny. Ah, wrong one. Well, Carolina Jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Of course, South Carolina fan acting like he knows everything. Acting like... uh. You know, Tennessee cheats all the time, acting like Tennessee sucks all the time. I don't know. But, man. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to end this video here. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want me to do more reaction videos in the future, make sure you let me know. I'll try to. Uh, but, yeah, man. What can I say? Uh, go Vols. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you all next time.